Hi folks, I'm Greg Jones, and today on Midwest Outdoors, we are fishing Lake Pepin. We're fishing out of beautiful Lake City, Minnesota. Our guest on the show today is guide Lauren Walkins. He guides down here 70, 80 days a year throughout the summer. He's the man in the know about the fish here. We're out to catch some walleyes, some saugers, maybe a bass or two, and we're gonna explore beautiful Lake City, Minnesota. All right. I thought he was King Kong for a bit, but this is fun. Yeah. yeah. All right, good job. Yeah. Now there's always something about those fish you get casting that's just kind of a little more personal, aren't they? And this fish, he must have been in a foot and a half, two foot of water. It's uh, starting to look like they might have moved up on us. Large mouth. All right. Yeah, you were talking about the largies, Lauren. You, also, yeah. you got a great smallmouth population in the lake, don't you? Yeah, there really is. It, it, uh, this is definitely a world-class smallie fishery. We're going to hopefully go down and experience a little bit of that before the day is done. That's fun to catch. So Lauren, if a guy is going to take a drive around Lake Pepin, how, long, how many miles is that? I believe it's about 74 miles. All the little towns in the area are real tourism driven and uh, you know, just a lot of little shops and, and fun things to stop and do. Yeah. About an hour, hour and a half south of the city's in. You got it. Yep, yeah, exactly. We checked in with Mary Huslid. She's the head of the Lake City Tourism Bureau and she gave us an idea of some of the other things that happen in the area. Lake City has a lot of great things to offer. As you can see, we have spectacular views. We have wonderful state parks um, close to the area with hiking trails. We have um, bird watching opportunities. We're on a major migratory flyway. We have um, the largest small craft marina on the upper Mississippi River. And we also have wonderful specialty shops in our downtown. And four golf courses within 10 minutes of Lake City. We're also known for our apple orchards. Apples from Lake City are shipped all over the world. In October, we celebrate with Johnny Appleseed Days, which is one of our many festivals, along with the 100 mile garage sale, the Tour de Pepin bicycle ride around Lake Pepin, and we celebrate, of course, the birthplace of water skiing with Water Ski Days Festival in June. You know, Lauren, besides the great fishing down here, this, this area is really unique geographically and has really a rich history. Why don't you tell us about some of that? Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's, this is what was considered bluff country, and it's called a driftless area, which, which in turn means that it was never covered by a glacier. This area was left alone. You know, the rest of the upper Midwest was covered by gla several glaciers at times, and this area has never been covered by a glacier. It left these bluffs intact. Um, and that's what gave you this beautiful scenery you see here. Folks, it's some of the greatest fishing you're going to find anywhere in Minnesota and definitely some of the most amazing scenery you can find. Woo! Way to go, Lauren. Lauren. Beautiful. I right, told Greg. you she was barely hooked up. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, you did. You weren't... Yeah, I saw her once. We'd been working at Edge, folks, We'd... and fish were there in the morning in the... Kind of got a little cold front conditions now, and instead of moving deeper, we actually move shallower. That's a nice three and a half pound fish. Oh, fish. Oh, yeah, that's a little sauger. Sauger on. He was way up shallow. That yeah, wasn't he? Up, up, up on top of the right there, yeah. That is a walleye, you're right. Yeah. Jumping walleye. Wow. Well, Wasn't Lauren I saying a little bit ago you'll get crappies a lot in your shoreline? That is a nice fish. Double up. Brown right. jumpers, jump in the boat. Lauren was saying yesterday he had these fish going on top water. A little wind up today, so they want the tube instead. But boy, I tell you, you can't have a funner day of fishing when you can catch smallmouth on top waters. All right, there's a smallie. Boy, them things fight. Pound for pound, there's nothing in fresh water that fights like smallmouths. You were saying along with the smallmouth and the largemouth, you got a pretty good panfish population in the yeah, lake too, uh, huh? Especially, say, from late summer through throughout the, through late October. 
sauger. Look that at that size sauger. of that sauger. Woo -hoo. Whoa, Come that's on, a good Mama. Sauger. Barely pegged. Oh, got him. All Look right. at the size Whoa. of that. That yeah. is one of the reasons why you come to Lake Pepin right there. That's a nice auger. Well, folks, we've had a great day fishing down here on Lake Pepin, fishing out of Lake City, Minnesota. Lauren, I want to thank you for taking us out. Well, you're welcome. It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, we've caught walleyes, giant sauger, smallmouth, largemouth, crappies. It's been a great time. If you want to get yourself down here, look up lakecitymn.org. You can get all the information you need to come in the area. Lauren's also got a link at the lakecitymn.org site at mississippiriverguideservice.com. Yep. You can also call the Lake City Tourism Bureau with the phone number on the screen. And for Lauren Walkins, I'm Greg Jones, Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.